Okay, our last game, Minnesota Wild, St. Louis Blues, 9.30 Eastern time, 6.30 Pacific. Blues can end this series on home ice as they lead the series 3-2 to two after a convincing win in St. Paul. Let's take a look at the number in this one. St. Louis minus $1.15. That number's held true since, the, since it's been sent out. Uh, the total also has stayed exactly where the send out number was, six and a half under minus 20. And I think what, what's happening in this one is it's a little bit head scratching. You got a team that needs to win, a good Minnesota team uh, against a, a, a team that, uh, you know, is at home. And, you know, I mean, they've the <laughs> minus $1.15 looks awfully juicy, but I think, you know, season better, betters, which you get a lot of season betters in the beginning. And when a number goes out and you see movement, a lot of times that's professional movement. So I don't know if they know what to do with this one. This number to me suggests something, and we'll talk about that. Goaltenders tonight, Marc-Andre Fleury against Jordan Bennington. As expected, Dean Evison has basically said, thank you so much for the – uh, the the great goaltending that we have we have uh, we've we've had since we went out and got Mark Andre Fleury, but we're going with Mark Andre Fleury to see if they can they can beat the St. Louis Blues, which I haven't been able to do uh, very much this season. I'm a big believer in the Wild guys, and I think that this numbers this number indicates that you should be as well. And despite the Blues' success in the postseason along with their regular season dominance over Minnesota, we're still just looking at minus $1.15 at home. And to equate that into a point spread, that's less than you would typically just give a home team. Like if you gave a home team three points uh, in the NFL, that you give a home team minus $1.30 or so in the NHL. Uh, the books are really saying, we believe in Minnesota in this game. And, and for me, uh, it's when I hear or see a number, just like last night in the, in the Golden State game in the NBA, when I see that number and I know John Morant's out and you're posting a four, they're, they're begging you to take Golden State, and we know what happened on that one. Um, I thought the Wild had some uncharacteristic mistakes. I am confident that they're going to clean those up. Dean Evison, their head coach, talked about that. I know that there will be a point of emphasis in this one. And one key to this game will be winning the special teams battle. The Blues have recorded a power play goal in every single game in this series and are converting on 30% of their chances. That has to change tonight in order for Minnesota to get the win. This will also come down to basically which, which Russian is going to blink first because uh, Kirill uh, Kaprizov has been fantastic. And, of course, Vladimir Tarasenko has been equally as great in the series as well. Blues have been, haven't won a playoff series since 2019. They look to look, look poised to do so. I don't know if they're going to do it tonight, but maybe in this series, they only have to win one more game. Jordan Bennington has been absolutely fantastic after he replaced uh, Huso and Net. I, I think he is playing with a lot of confidence. And for Minnesota, it's about getting pucks deep. It's about relying on a heavy four check. And I thought that they tried to do that in game five. I think they made too many mistakes. Uh, I think it's tonight you're going to see a physical game except, uh, again against Tarasenko, who, you know, since the beginning of this series, they Minnesota says, we're going to be physical with your superstar. And sometimes that's worked, sometimes it's not. But between Kaprizov and Tarasenko, they have no problem uh, putting putting points up on the on the score sheet. Uh, I think tonight is going to be a battle of wills, and for Minnesota to win, they must find secondary scoring to help Kaprizov. And, and I think they're going to do that. So let's take a look at tonight's selection. Minnesota has won 20 not, 21 of their last 29 games. They're 15 and seven when scoring two goals or less in their previous game, and 20 and eight off a home loss of three goals or more. I will call the bluff by the odds makers, and I am going to take the Minnesota Wild minus $1.05, another game that you might want to wait until puck drop to get involved with because I think that we're going to see some, a little bit of St. Louis money come in. Now, I think this number is, is, is too big to pass or too good to pass up. 
you're getting a desperate Minnesota Wild team minus a dollar five. They win the special teams battle. They'll win this game tonight. <laughs> 